Hey, Daniel. I need a rope and a block when you're ready after you get that last little bit there. We're gonna have to take a big top on this cedar because it's got uh, quite a bit of decay right here. And it's uh, more than a third of the way through the tree, so I don't wanna take a chance. All right, so a lot of people ask, you know, what killed my tree? And you can't really tell them for sure unless you did some, you know, special investigation. But uh, here, this will give someone a pretty good idea. So this cedar tree has uh, passed away. And you can see up in there, it's just dead. And then right here, we have some of the potential culprits. So these are beetle holes here. And how you can tell usually is they'll have a flat bottom and a rounded top. That's the same with bronze birch borer as well. And I've also watched some beetles come out of these holes while I've been here, some uh, adolescent beetles that have fully pupated and they're emerging. And uh, these ones are the black longhorn style beetles. So they're uh, uh, black, longer, uh, longer antenna, and then they'll have some white a uh, little pattern on the back that's just uh, like three or four stripes on each side. But anyway, uh, now that I've seen them pop out, I know for sure these are beetle holes, but I knew they were already. The other thing it can be when you have uh, holes in your tree is it can be sap suckers. Sap suckers here is a small bird uh, and it's a, just a, a type of woodpecker and it'll tap a hole in, move over just far enough over to get to another section of lateral uh, tissue and he'll tap in again and do the same thing. So when it's an animal, there'll be um, some brains behind it. It'll be a concentric line. It'll be a perfect line almost right across the uh, phloem of the tree. So that way they know that once they tap here, it dries out, they go to the next spot over and they keep working their way over. But uh, here you can see these holes are just random. And that randomness of the holes tells you that these are beetle holes plus the fact that they're the way they're shaped. This one's a good one you can see is it's a flat bottom and a rounded top. Same thing here, flat bottom, rounded top. And that's because if you look at the uh, beetles from straight down, from their head down to their thorax, if you look straight down them, that's what their body looks like. They have a rounded top and a flat bottom and they only do enough work to get inside and after that they're done. So uh, something to keep a lookout for and something that you guys can be able to tell your customers, give them a little bit better idea. I personally think uh, root fungus is killing most of these cedar trees and then the beetles are just advantageously taking care of what's left behind. But uh, it's hard to say because this is way more beetle activity than I usually see. And when we strip the bark after we take this tree down, you can just see just marks all through the flow of them just crazy back and forth and they're just destroying the tree there's no way any fluid could come from the the leaves and get down into anywhere else it's just not going to be able to feed the root system the root system dies and it's not feeding the top the top dies too uh, anyway check out this view isn't that so awesome what a beautiful view what a beautiful day it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood this looks like one of our culprits right here a little jittery motion. That's definitely a tree beetle. One of the bad ones. Nice big chewing mouth parts. A lot of these ones are poisonous, they say. And here's your sapsucker holes. You can see the concentric holes are right in line with each other. And that's how you know that an animal did it with something with a little bit more intelligence. Not that insects aren't intelligent, but their purpose isn't to get the sap out of the tree, so that's why they don't do it that way. But anyway, uh, that should be enough to give you all the identification you need. You see beetles, let your customers know, hey, you got beetles. Do not use any micro injections for insecticide, please. Do everything you can to treat it in any other way or remove the tree. It's really just the best way to do it. We're affecting too many other insects, so we gotta do what we can. 
and I hope everybody will do their best.